today and everybody's getting ready but I'm going to pretend to be sick yep and I know my mom has a meeting today she's supposed to be showing someone a new house that wants to move into town because my mom she's a real estate agent and she, like she has so many jobs but one of her main jobs is a real estate agent where they sell people houses and stuff and find them places to live so I know she's not going to be able to stay here. And while she's at work today, showing the person the house, I'm going to go through all of the files for the school and destroy them. Because if she doesn't have students to go to this little school that she's making, how can it continue? Huh? You see that? Two plus two is four. That's quick maths. Every day I'm in the school. Wait, sorry. Never mind. Let me stop. Alrighty. Let's go tell mom. <clears throat> I don't feel so well. That's what I'm gonna say. All right. Wait. Uh. Hey, mom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have something to tell you, mother. What, Michelle? I don't feel so good. I actually feel quite under the weather. Okay. You feel under the weather? I can't stay with you today. You're sick. Yes, I'm going to have to stay home today and do my sick routine. Well, I can't be here with you, Michelle. I have to sell a house today. There's a really, really important and wealthy client coming into the town. And I'm sorry, sweetheart. Are you sure you don't feel well? You know, Mom, I totally understand that you can't stay. So I'm just going to look after myself and do my sick routine all by myself. See, look. I'm already prepared. You see that? I've got the ice on my head. I've got the ice on my chin. And I think I've got this. Hmm. No, Michelle. I know that you've been feeling kind of sad in this family. Like no one cares about you. Even though that is not true. We all care about you and love you very much. So, I'm going to let your brother stay home from school as well to look after you. No! Mother? You know what? I think I'm feeling better. No, Michelle, you don't look so well. So Mikey's gonna stay here with you today and help look after you. Uh, I was not planning that. Um, I think I've got this. Just, just let him go to school. No, don't say it again. I'm leaving. You all both stay here today and do your sick routine. Mom. Don't mom me, Michelle. Goodbye. You've got to be kidding me. Mikey, you're always ruining my plans. How, how am I ruining your plans? I didn't tell you to tell mom that you're sick. Besides, I wanted to go to school today. Right, whatever. You being here is not going to help me. In fact, I'm the one that's going to have to look after you, not the other way around. Well, I can't control that, so I don't know what to tell you. Just stay out of my way, Mikey. Stay out of my way. All right, while I'm here, I'm supposed to go upstairs and look through the files and destroy them, but I wonder who this new client is of my mom's. I mean, what if after I destroy the files, this person who she said is like really wealthy just helps her fund the school anyway? Wouldn't that be terrible? Should I go follow her? Um, Mikey? Yes? I'm gonna go follow mom, okay? I need her to stay at the house. You're gonna get in trouble, Michelle. You're always getting in trouble. You just like getting in trouble. No, I don't like getting in trouble. Don't say that to me. Besides, remember you promised that you would help me with this plan? Yeah, but... You seem like you're taking it a little too far. You shouldn't be destroying the paperwork for mom's new school that she's making. This is a dream of hers. I don't care if it's a dream of hers, Mikey. 
I don't want to be stuck in Saturday and Sunday school. Saturdays and Sundays are the only days that I have to enjoy my life. Spread my wings, fly in the sky. Okay, Michelle, you're not a bird, but okay. All right, so wait here. Let's go see where mom's going. It's already so early that the sun isn't even out yet. They must have a lot of houses that they plan on looking at today. Okay, let's go. Where did mom, oh, there she is over there. Okay, I totally, I see her from back here. She's talking to some lady. Wait a minute. <gasps> Isn't that the lady that was on the news? That lady lived in Blocksburg and she escaped and she's got all those munchkins in her family. She's got like, she has almost seven daughters or I think it was six daughters. What? Let me try to get closer to hear the conversation. Hmm, I still can't hear it. Why does this always happen to me? Okay, I'm gonna sneak over here by this tree. Okay, I might be able to hear something now. Come on. So, I'm so glad that you've decided to live here in this town. Uh, yes, I am too. I just needed a change of scenery. However, I haven't truly decided if I'll live here. I'm just testing the waters. Well, I'm sure I can find you an amazing and beautiful home. Well, tell me about it first. What is it like living here in Meep City? Well, it is, uh, it is mm, very interesting. I, too, have a daughter. Oh, well, I have over five daughters. I actually have six daughters. Yes, yes, I know. I saw you on the news. That was crazy, everything that has happened to you and your family. I'm so glad that you were able to make it out of all of that. Yes, I am glad, too. So, where are you going to be showing me today? Well, you said you needed a lot of space for your family, so I was thinking you might be interested in a castle. A castle? That sounds quite expensive. Well, you told me that money was no object for you now and that you would have an unlimited budget. That is true, but I don't want you to feel like, I don't want to feel like you're taking advantage of me and trying to just get me to spend all of my money. No, of course not. Of course not. Okay, show me some of the places. Oh, wait a minute. By the way, with you having such a large family, do you ever get overwhelmed on the weekends when school is out? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? Well, I'm opening a Saturday and a Sunday school, and it's also going to have an after-school program. Wow, that sounds amazing. How much is the tuition? Well, for you, I'll give you a discount. A discount? Yes, because you have so many daughters, so yes, I'll give you a discount. Okay. That sounds amazing. Okay, cool. What? Oh my goodness. That crazy lady, the one that was arrested that time and got in all that trouble, is gonna move to this town? And is gonna have her daughters going to the same school that I'm gonna have to go to that's in my house? Absolutely not. Mm -mm. If I thought I was a little hesitant in destroying that school before, I'm totally not now. I mean, uh-uh. No way. Let's get on over here and let's destroy all that paperwork. Alright, good. The place is nice and destroyed. So when mom gets back, yeah, I'm going to get in trouble. But that lady will totally not want to enroll here. Mikey, I'm back. Well, what happened? Don't worry about what happened. Anyway, let me hear from my routine. Um, I'm gonna have to have a green smoothie, something super healthy. Hmm, well, it's not green, but it's got a lot of vitamins in it. Let's just drink this. Alrighty, I need something to eat too. <laughs> I'm supposed to have soup when I'm not feeling well, so I'm gonna have some soup too. Oh, uh, you, are, do you want something to eat, Mikey? Yeah, I'm actually really hungry. Okay, here you go. Enjoy, little brother. All right, let's make some more for myself. <laughs> All right, got it. And I mean, I know I'm like pretending to be sick, but 
I'm just gonna go ahead and sneak a cupcake too, because mom's not even here yet. So come on, come on, come on. I love sneaking cupcakes, they're so delicious. All right, let's try to eat that. <sighs> all right, all done. Now, let me go lay upstairs and, you know what, on second thought, I don't think I'm gonna take the blame for destroying the school. I'm gonna blame it on my brother. He never gets in trouble. Ha, 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 ha. Mom should be home at any moment now. So nervous about this. My brother, he's gonna feel so betrayed that I'm gonna blame all this on him, but he never gets in trouble anyway, so he needs to just deal with it because I'm tired of always being the one to get in trouble and take the blame for everything. So, nope, I don't have any regrets. I was not interested in any of the places that you showed me today. Yes, yes, I understand. But don't write this town off just yet. I'm certain that I can find a place for you. And in the meantime, would you like to check out the school? <gasps> oh, yes, yes, of course. You've told me such wonderful things about it. Let's go and take a look. All right, follow me inside. Mom, 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 I have to tell you something. I'm so glad you're back. Mom, I have something to tell you. Mikey messed up the school. He did what? I know, right? He threw a tantrum and he destroyed the school, Mom. I tried to stop him, but I was far too weak. I could not stop him. He was uncontrollable. I cannot believe your brother would do this. Please, no, let me go and take a look. All of my hard work, all of my effort, messed up. <gasps> okay, yep, I got him. This? Is the place that you were telling me about? This place looks terrible. It looks like a mess. You've got desks turned over. You have a bed here in the middle of the room. This place looks terrible and unorganized. I don't even think I want you as my real estate agent anymore. Wow, if you would lie about having a great school in your home, what else would you lie about? Mm -mm. I have to rethink my decision to live here and to have you be the one that helps me find the house if I decide to live in Meep City. Goodbye, I need a few days. No, I needed that commission. Michelle! Yes, Mom? How could you let your brother do this? Mom, I was not feeling well. It was not my fault. You just blame everything on me. You're right, I'm sorry. Your brother is grounded. Do you know what just happened? What happened? What's a commission? It's like when you sell a house, you get a piece of the money made from it. Like, like a fee. Oh, well, how much of a fee did I make you lose out on? I don't want to say, Michelle. She was thinking about buying a castle. That's one of the most expensive places here in Meep City. And now, I don't even know if she's going to hire me as her real estate agent anymore. And I don't think I'll be able to open my school. If I don't get the money from that sale, I can't replace all the furniture that's been destroyed. All my dreams, all my hopes, gone. Ooh. Okay. Uh-oh. What am I supposed to do now? This was worse than I thought. And I blamed Mikey. Thank you for watching my channel. Pretzel and so. Pretzel and so. Pretzel and so. Pretzel and so. Pretzel and so.